I think growing up for me was when I realized that dating older men is overrated, which this realization literally came to me like a few months ago, but I'm almost 28 and I'm dating a guy that's like four years younger than me. Before, maybe last year, you couldn't catch me dead dating anybody who was like remotely younger than me. When I was 21, I dated a 30 year old. When I was 24, I dated a 32 year old. When I was 24, six i dated a 34 year old something like that and they all sucked they all sucked my little 24 year old that i'm dating right now my little 24 <laughs> this is the best i've ever been taken care of and like emotionally physically sexually like every everything he makes me feel comfortable i i don't know i would say if you're older than 25 start trying to date younger men and see where it takes you yeah Younger men. Their preference is younger men, and I'm gonna tell you why. While older men are probably a little bit more established, a little more mature, they also probably have a closet full of baggage, which means that they're not gonna have room for your baggage, okay? A younger man can carry your baggage because he doesn't have any of his own. Also, let's talk about energy levels, and don't be dirty. I'm talking about energy levels of like, I'm old and I get tired. He doesn't. So when the kids are like, Mommy, can you push me again on the playground? No, but you know who can? He can. And well, yes, you probably are going to have some immaturity issues, but you know what? Eventually he is going to grow up. And when he does, he is going to be exactly what you taught him to be. Get you a younger man, sister. Get you a younger man. I was not expecting a four-hour date. Not expecting a four-hour date. Um, it was so good. He's like 35. He's just a baby. Just a baby. It was so good. The date was so good. One thing I learned from dating men in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s and beyond is that frat boys turn into frat men. Fuck boys turn into fuck men. People who are, well people, little boys who are pathological liars turn into old men who are pathological liars. Unless there is a serious mitigated effort to get therapy and to change and to become a different person, they just are the same creature in their mind, just in a really old, crusty body. I'm gonna go eat my McDonald's now, bye. I am 58 years old, and both of my grandmothers were single mothers. All of my aunts are in their 70s or 80s, and my female cousins are in their 30s, 40s, and 50s. Plus, I have many female friends who I have known since college, thus for almost 40 years. Get the man while he is young. Yes. He might never be successful or make enough money where you do not have to work. However, what is left after you are over 30 you might not want. Now let me tell you a story. Faith and George. The saying that behind a great man is a great woman is true. Here is an example. I had a female friend named Faith who was 27 years old, and her husband George, who was 24 years old. Yes, George is younger than Faith. Faith is black, and George is white. Faith is a single mother looking for a nice guy. Faith had a college degree and came to Chicago for a job. Her first son stayed with her mother in New Jersey. George did not have a college degree and was working paycheck to paycheck. George was so poor that some days he would skip lunch because he could not afford it. Faith liked George, and she thought George liked her, but George would not make the first move. I explained to Faith that when a man has no money and if he is a nice guy, he will not even try to date. Even if you pay half and he pays half, he still might not be able to pay his half. I do not know what Faith did, but two months later, Faith and George were living together in Faith's little studio apartment. Then a year later, they got married and moved into, or lived with Faith's mother. This allowed George to go to school to become a chef. Within three years of the meeting, they had a son. Six years after their son was born, 
George had saved enough money to where he could make plans to open his own restaurant. Without his woman Faith by his side, George might not have ever been able to do this. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and share this video.